we began the second day today by concluding the three-minute interventions on part one of the instrument of laboris. And now, uh, starting this afternoon, we will begin a new phase of our discussion with the small groups. And I am in one of the small groups with other bishops who are in the English-speaking section. I think altogether there are four English groups. That will allow us uh, the opportunity to speak very candidly, but also uh, listen attentively. As the Holy Father remarked yesterday at the beginning of the Synod, he wants us to come to these discussions with boldness in our speech, but also uh, humility in our ears to listen to one another. So I'm looking very much forward to uh, the beginning of this second phase of the Synod uh, as we take up the issues that are outlined in part one of the Instrumental Laboris. Uh, it should be, I think, a very fruitful exchange, and I know that uh, the others who are coming to the discussion uh, are going to heed the words of the Holy Father uh, to speak boldly, but also listen with humility. Archbishop Supic uh, spoke just now about the method that's being employed in the Synod, and it's an excellent one. Uh, small groups in which there's the opportunity to uh, go more deeply into the themes of the Synod. I want to speak just for a moment about the larger context of the method that's being used at the Synod. Because you see, it really goes back to the Second Vatican Council. Uh, Pope John XXIII, and then this was reiterated in uh, Gaudium et Spes, the Pastoral Constitution and the Church in the Modern World, spoke about the need for the church to read the signs of the times. In other words, what are the experiences of people? Not that those experiences are, are meant to provide a kind of poll or a vote on where we go with faith, N not at all. No, our, our faith is solid, the gospel is constant, but our human experience keeps shifting. And the ways in which the gospel is lived out uh, also shifts according to time and place and culture and so forth. So it's really important that we listen carefully to the experience of people as they try to live out the mystery of Jesus Christ. And, and this, in fact, is what we have done in some measure in our own Archdiocese of Chicago through the consultation process, tried to listen gather the experiences of people and the different consultative bodies in the Archdiocese of Chicago as well. The Archdiocesan Pastoral Council, the Committee on Women, the Presbyteral Council, all of these consultative bodies plus the parishes fed in to the material that we have. And, and this is the base upon which there is a larger sense of discernment, probing, trying to understand where is God leading us?